वीडियो लेक्चर नंबर टेन ऑन सेइंग प्लीज बाय ए जी गार्डिनर हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स एंड डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन माय लास्ट वीडियो लेक्चर आई डिस्कस्ड द मार्जिन एक्टिविटीज इन द लेसन ऑन सेइंग प्लीज बाय द राइटर ए जी गार्डिनर टुडे टू आई विल कंटिन्यू विथ द सेम लेसन ऑन सेइंग प्लीज and i will discuss the brainstorming section of this lesson but friends before that i would like to remind you that you have to read each lesson line by line carefully and solve all the activities given in that lesson in your register or long book at home so friends now open your textbook of english and open the brainstorming section of this lesson and see on page number 19 or you can also read these activities on the screen in front of you now let's start with the brainstorming section a1 activity the first activity from a1 is form groups and explain the following words with examples you can take help of your teacher now here some of the words are given you will have to explain them and you can take the help of your teacher or you can also discuss them in groups now the first word is humility second one self esteem third one gratitude next one courtesy another word generosity then sympathy and empathy now friends i just take two words and explain them here remaining words are to be explained and studied by you at home individually now the first word is humility i explain this word humility humility means being free from pride and arrogance the greatest example of humility is our former president dr apj abdul kalam we should always remember that pride comes before a fall you should always realize that there are people better than you are so the great greek philosopher socrates rightly stated that the only thing that i know is that i know nothing now the second word self esteem self esteem means self respect or confidence in one's own worth or abilities we must accept ourselves as we are in this world everyone is different and unique self esteem is a highly positive quality which leads to achievements success and healthy relationships it can be developed 
with a little efforts now here friends rest of the words are to be studied and explained by you individually you can take the help of your friends now the second one is the second activity have a group discussion on the topic the need of soft skills at work plus use the following points and some points are given here a written and verbal communication b ways of interacting with others c creative abilities and d emotional intelligence now friends here also uh, you have to study this activity in group or you can do it individually with the help of your some of the family members in your family and you can have a dialogue with them and can understand it but for your better understanding i just give you uh, some of the things that can be included in each point so that you can write the answer on your own now the first point is here the first point is written and verbal communication now this point includes writing notes letters memos reports instructions then speeches presentations that will be given at your or you can say that will be used at your workplace then the second one is b ways of interacting with others now this involves showing courtesy sympathy cooperation empathy strictness gratitude humility and teamwork at your workplaces or the workplace now the next one is c creative abilities creative abilities involves preparing reports preparing presentations letters etc at the workplace now d is emotional intelligence emotional intelligence involves showing understanding compassion empathy teamwork motivation appreciation self awareness etc at the workplace now let's go for a2 activity a2 activity is now see this a2 activity a2 activity is read the text and state whether the following statements are true or false correct the false statement correct the false statement now here you are given some of the statements from the lesson and you will have to just mention them whether they are true or false and if they are false you have to correct them now the first one better problems in day to day life can be solved by sweet words it is its answer is true b great words could have been avoided by a little courtesy its answer is true third one observance 
of etiquette in a normal situation is important but more important is their observance when the situation is adverse the answer of this one is again true d words like please and thank you help us in making our passage through life uneasy now the answer of this activity is false and the corrected statement is words like please and thank you help us in making our passage through life easy now the last sentence sentence number e the law permits anybody to use violence if another person is discourteous now its answer is false and the corrected statement is the law does not permit anybody to use violence if another person is discourteous so now please turn on the page see on page number 20 the next page now the activity is the second activity is select the most appropriate sentences which suggest the theme of the story or the essay now here you will have to select the correct statement or the appropriate sentences that suggest or indicate the theme of this essay or the theme of this lesson now four points are given here a the essay tells us about courtesy civility morality responsibility and control b the essay explores the difficulties that can be incurred by an individual when dealing with the public c one can keep one's peace of mind without having to lower themselves to the level of perceived offender and d people with low self esteem are generally difficult to work with and they look down upon others to get a feeling of superiority now four statements are given out of this four the correct or the appropriate sentences which indicate the theme of this essay are number a the essay tells us about courtesy civility morality responsibility and control this sentence and sentence number c one can keep one's peace of mind without having to lower themselves to the level of the perceived offender these are two sentences indicate the theme of this essay now let's go for other activity activity number 3 activity number 3 is find 3a find the reasons for the lift man's uncivilized behavior now here it will have to give the reasons for the lift man's uncivilized behavior now i tell you the answer the reasons for the lift man's uncivilized behavior when the passenger was rude and ill mannered towards him are number 1 he was acutely hurt by the slur cast by the passenger on his social status number 2 the passenger's discourtesy 
was a wound to his self respect and number 3 he felt insulted by the passengers discourtesy now let's go for activity b activity b activity from this third one list the people and their behavior that made the passenger rude and ill mannered here you have to do two two things number one first you will have to uh, complete here uh, this flow chart giving the list of the people with their behaviors that made the passenger rude and ill mannered but and second thing i would like to tell you that here the sequence is a little bit wrong so instead of wife there should be the word cook and in the last box exactly below the housemaid there should be the last word and that is lift man so please make these two corrections so now i tell you the answer the first one is housemaid in the first box the word is housemaid in the second box the word is cook in the third box employer's wife in the next box in the next box employer in the next box passenger and in the last box lift man now i just tell you their behavior how their behavior was or you can also write this uh, in the box you can also write uh, this behavior of these people in the box below that word but then the box will be a little bit larger but you can do accordingly so in the first box housemaid you can write housemaid is rude to the cook in the second box the cook you can write below the word cook cook is therefore very rude to the passengers employer's wife in the third box of employer's wife you can write below that in the box employer is handpicked by his wife at the breakfast then in the fourth box of employer you can write below it employer does not say good morning to the passenger in the fifth box that is of passenger below it you can write in the box passenger is rude and ill mannered towards the lift man and in the last box lift man you can write below it lift man throws the passenger out of the lift now let's go for the next activity and the next activity is number 4 good manners are required in our daily life for making our social contacts more cooperative and friendly illustrate the behavior of the polite conductor with different people in various situations now here two columns are given in one column situations are given regarding the conductor or in relation with the conductor and in second column his behaviors how did he behave with these people in those particular situations it is to be given now you will have to complete this second column of behavior here what is done for you and in second column of behavior you have to mention in what way did the bus conductor behave with those people in that particular situation which are given in column number 1 one is done for you 
I will tell the answers of the rest of the situations. One, the writer's sensitive toe was trampled on. Conductor's behavior. The conductor said sorry with an apology and curtsy. Number two, second situation. In the rainy season, dealing with people in behavior, he would run off the stairs to give someone the tip that there was a room inside. Third one, dealing with old people and in behavior, he was as considerate as a son. Now, the next one, dealing with children. In behavior, he was as solicitous as a father. Number five, dealing with young people. In behavior, he always indulged in some merry jest with them. And last, number six, dealing with a blind man. He set him down safely on the pavement and then took him wherever he wanted to go after telling the driver to wait for a while. This will come in behavior for number 6. Now, we will discuss uh, the activities below that. Then comes activities number activity number 5. Discuss and write the impact of good temper and kindliness on the society in the light of the good mannered conductor. Now I tell you the answer. It is a personal response type activity and I tell you the answer. The conductor was cheerful and kind hearted to everyone in the bus. This spread to his passengers and they too became cheerful and good humored. They would naturally pass on this feeling after getting off the bus. Thus, in society, if people are good tempered, cheerful and kind, it will spread to others and they will too start behaving in a similar manner. This will lead to a happy and very compassionate society. Now the next activity that is activity number that is activity number six. A modest calling can be made dignified by a good temper and kindly feeling. Explain the statement with examples. Now here the answer of this activity is this means that whatever career or job one has however simple or modest it can be made more dignified by behaving in a good temper and cheerful manner and with kindness towards the people one comes in contact with. For example, even a simple job like that of a security guard of or at a mall can be made pleasant and dignified if the guard smiles and says thank you or good morning every time he or she checks a person. Another example, a sweeper's job can also be made more dignified if he or she just nods and smiles at the passers-by or helps them if they are in need. Now the next activity 
that is activity number seven the service of police is necessary for the implementation of law in our society do you think you require this service for good social environment discuss now i tell you my opinion and the answer the answer of this seventh activity is no we cannot have the police monitoring us for social and moral offenses for example one cannot be punished if one refuses to smile at an acquaintance or say thank you one cannot be punished if one does not hold the door open for the person who is following these are the good manners or courtesy and they have to be taught right from the childhood and they will change in different cultures and different circumstances too whether a person follows them or not depends on the individual however if these little courtesies are followed life will become much simpler and more pleasant for everyone so friends here uh, we have discussed these activities from the brainstorming section the remaining activities from the brainstorming section are based on language study and grammar and some on the writing skills also so you will have to do them on your own individually at your home i am not going to discuss them here so we should stop here in my next video lecture i will start with the poem and will study the first poem from uh, second unit 2.1 thank you so much have a nice day